Hello, and welcome to Video Jug. This is sixth and black belt Steve Mortimer, and he's going to teach you how to pull off the perfect high roundhouse kick. This kick is one of the most popular martial arts moves and is seen particularly in karate. It can be used to attack at any level from the knee to the head and can be devastatingly fast and effective. <laughs> Step one, what you'll need. Loose fitting clothes are essential to allow freedom of movement, preferably a karate uniform or more correctly, a gi. And it's also recommended that you practice your kicks on a heavy bag. It's difficult to develop a powerful kick by kicking just thin air. By kicking a bag, you'll learn how to generate power and speed. You'll also strengthen the muscles used for kicking. Step two, the stance. Start by standing with your feet shoulder width apart and taking a step back with your right foot to a comfortable distance as if on tram lines. Then turn your feet 30 degrees and bend your knees. Remember to keep your feet firmly on the ground. This platform will allow you to draw your energy up from the ground. The energy should then flow through your body and be released into your target via the kick. A strong stance is an absolute must for a good kick, as you need to have a stable platform from which to launch it. Step three, the kick. Propel the knee forward by using your toes and heel like a spring. Once the knee points at the target, snap the leg forward from the knee. You can give the kick power by rotating your hip and your support leg. Strike the target with the top or bony part of the foot. Practice your kicks low until you perfect them before you attempt the higher kicks. And here's the kick again in slow-mo. Step four, breathing. Measured breathing and the exhalation of your energy will improve your kicking technique. Exhale throughout the entire execution of the kick. And make your exhalation strong and powerful from your abdomen. Beast. This is called the key eye. Here it is again. Step five, review. Let's see the whole roundhouse kick again from start to finish with a few extra pointers. The rotation of the hips with the roundhouse kick turns the body toward the attacker. But always try to remain upright and avoid leaning back or to the side. And keep your guard up as you kick to protect your head against a counter attack. And there you have it, the perfect high roundhouse kick. Now check out Video Jug's other guides to the basic martial arts maneuvers elsewhere on the site. <laughs>